In the Solve It, you use right triangle trigonometry to write an expression to describe a side length. You can also find relationships between the angle measures and the side lengths of non-right triangles. The Law of Cosines. For any triangle ABC, the Law of Cosines relates the cosine of each angle to the side lengths of the triangle. For example, in this triangle, where note side C is opposite from angle C, side A is opposite from angle A, and side B is opposite from angle B. We can relate values with the equation A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC times the cosine of angle A. We can also relate using the equation B squared equals A squared plus C squared minus 2AC times the cosine of B. And alternately, C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2AB times the cosine of C. Problem one, using the law of cosines in a side angle side situation. Find B to the nearest tenth. Consider the diagram. We have some information labeled two side lengths and our unknown side length B, we do know the opposite angle measure. The measure of angle B is 44 degrees. Consider what we know. We know segment AB is opposite to angle C, so AB equals C, which equals 10. We know segment BC is opposite from angle A, so BC equals A, which equals 22. And we know the measure of angle B is 44. What we need to find is the length of AC, segment AC. Our plan, because we know the measure of angle B and need side length B, substitute the angle measure and the two side lengths into this form of the law of cosines. B squared equals A squared plus C squared minus 2AC times the cosine of B and solve for B. Substituting, we find B squared equals 22 squared plus 10 squared minus 2 times 22 times 10 times the cosine of 44 degrees. At this point we get to use a calculator to come up with a decimal approximation. B is approximately equal to 16.36 or we can state the value of B is about 16.4. Your turn. Find MN to the nearest tenth. 